Welcome everybody. So today I want to show you how to do confetti glazing. So confetti glazing, you're going to start by glazing uh, just like you normally would with a few coats of whatever glaze you want as your base glaze. So I am using the PC12, the Blue Midnight in Potter's Choice. So I had already stuck a couple of layers on but to get the um, confetti glaze to stick easily for moving around the classroom and stuff, uh, it's nice if you have a freshly painted thing so it's still kind of wet and sticky and it can dry together. And then you want to find our confetti glaze little container. So this is just all of the leftover chunks of glaze and underglaze from when you use up one of the bottles. I just like squeezed it all out and dumped it in here. So when you do the confetti glaze, you want to avoid giant chunks, like giant chunks is not a good thing. And you kind of want to avoid the powder at the bottom, okay? So you're looking for that like middle of the road stuff. So what I tend to do is I'll just dump some in my hand and I will pick out any like really big chunks uh, that are not easy to make into smaller chunks. So now like this one's still a little bit big. There's a couple that are a little bit big in here, but like it'll be okay, right? So once I have the chunks that I want, and like I said, if I need to, I can break them down a little smaller. Now you don't know what color these are gonna be, right? but you're just gonna lay them onto your freshly painted project. Now, these are gonna turn into like little puddles of colorful glaze, right? So if you have any on the edge, kind of like tuck them in, cause you don't wanna get like a puddle that runs over the side, but you know, these work good for like stripes or to fill the bottom of something. I wouldn't try to confetti glaze the entire project because uh, that would just kind of, like it just doesn't work as well. So anyway, there you go. Now you just got to get it fired. Make sure there's a cookie underneath it and make sure any of your little stuff is not hanging off the side. And it's a grand experiment. See what comes out. It's going to be different every single time. All right, thanks everybody.